This year, 500,000 older people will spend Christmas Day alone, and a similar number will go five to six days without seeing or speaking to anyone. I think when you're not having people to talk to, it can be a bit tough on you. <laughs> In recent years, it's become increasingly clear that loneliness and social isolation can have a significant impact on the physical, social, psychological and spiritual lives of individuals. Sometimes I just cry and cry and I can't help it. I just sit and cry. And someone said, that's the best thing you can do, let it all out. And that's just what I do. We strongly believe that the church has a crucial role to play in addressing loneliness and social isolation in the UK, particularly as it is often one of the only centres of the community remaining. I think going out with Marion every two weeks, that really helps me because she is a wonderful woman. <laughs> it changed my life, transformed my life. We go to the garden centres and look at all the flowers and the plants and whatever, so it's lovely. It gave me something to look forward to every week and I knew on a Monday somebody would come and that somebody would be Sandy and whatever situation that particular week, we'd have a nice time and the day would be better for the mere fact that Sandy came. There was a time last year where life got really difficult and Sandy went above and beyond in giving of herself and her time and her wisdom. The benefits of, of doing something like this are, are twofold. We get blessed as much as the, the person we're visiting. If anybody's actually thinking about working with Linking Lives and visiting people, go for it. You won't regret it. You really enjoy it. Mm -hmm.